Hi guys, I am Rishabh Chatty and you are watching my review of the BTS2 Bluetooth Intercom for Helmets. Now before we start this video, let me thank Banggood.com for sending this product. Now let's get started. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get regular updates. Now first let me show you the unboxing briefly. So this is the package. Let's open the package and see what's inside. So we have one more white packaging. So this is the intercom. So now let's open it and see. So in the front, so in the front we can see all the features that we get, it's written FM radio, rider to pillion, rider to rider, up to 800 to 1000 meters, fits onto almost any helmet, cable input, inter then it's written water resistant, up to 120 kmph, multi-user connectivity, MP3 GPS and you can see some more information. So now let's open it, so there's a tape over here. This is the intercom and inside we have some more compartments, so adapter, adapter, USB cable, some more attachments, this is the intercom and inside we also get user manual. And under this we get the speakers. So that was the unboxing. Now coming to the review. I've been using this intercom for around two months. And let's start with the build quality. So the main intercom headset does look good. And it feels pretty good quality. The speakers on the other hand don't feel that like solid they feel like the wires might come out or the speakers don't feel as good as the main intercom feels but it's okay at the price range uh, the second thing uh, installation this is also one more little bit difficult because uh, this has actually fm radio so because of that the mic that you get that is actually a little bit longer and the back end is little bit harder like little thicker and hard so it's little difficult to put inside the helmet so installation is gonna be slightly more trickier if you are good in DIYs then I don't think you'll have a problem but I'm not good in DIYs so a little bit I had a problem fixing the speakers and the mic now the speakers are also little bit big in size now they're not thick but they are thin but little bit larger in diameter so my helmet has a groove for putting the bluetooth speakers but unfortunately these speakers don't fit in that properly so it's like exceeding that uh, groove so when i first used to wear the helmet i used to feel that the speakers are hitting my ears but after a few days i adjusted it a little bit more here up down to check where is it actually going inside and after that i didn't have much problem so little bit you might have a problem if your padding is a little small uh, if it's little big then i don't think you will have much problem because i haven't heard any other uh, rider saying that they have a problem with bts2 because it's the most widely used intercom and i think only it's a it's a problem in my helmet in your helmet you might not have a problem i'm using an axor helmet and in that i had slight problem with the speakers but now it's all fine now moving on to the sound quality since this is also a big factor in you deciding whether you want this intercom or not. So the sound quality is decent. Now the loudness is good. I keep it in 50 to 60% uh, loudness above that uh, it starts paining for me because it's too loud actually. But the clarity is not that high end. It's okay. So because of that you can feel that the beats and all. Because the clarity is not that good so you can feel the beats more. If the clarity was more then you can't hear the bass and beats. That's why I feel okay it's a good compromise between clarity and the beats. Because if clarity is slightly lower then I, we can hear the beats more I think. I don't know exactly about this sound engineering thing but that's what I felt. The clarity is not that high 
but because of that you can feel the beats also more the next thing is the battery life now how long is it gonna last now i used to use this for around one hour every day and it used to last me five days guaranteed the six days sometimes it used to last me at least one hour or sometimes half an hour it used to depend because the other days uh, one hour i will say continuously i used to use and then later on when i'm going for any shot like to any shop that time also i used to use so barely roughly you can say five to six hours you can use if you are doing on off if you are using continuously at one go seven hours might be but five hours is guaranteed so battery life is not a big problem for daily use the main feature that made me get this intercom from uh, banggood.com is that uh, it has a feature of fm radio now on my daily commute it's not safe to listen to loud music but slight music is always good so i you i always wanted to have a helmet like i always wanted to have an intercom through which i can listen to the fm radio because listening to the bluetooth music it's like every time you have to set your music and then play i, did, I didn't like that uh, whole system i'm doing that every time every day so i like the i wanted to have a fm radio so this was actually perfect in this range you don't get any other intercom which comes with fm radio you can go above 6k or 7k then you get fm radio but in this range there is nothing which comes with fm radio this is the only option so that was also one of the main features and fm radio is really um, good i would say uh, it picks up the frequencies easily and uh, when the signal is like very low then it won't be able to catch like you won't be able to hear anything but if the signal is just okay or decent then uh, the intercom picks up the fm radio easily now the rider to rider uh, intercom thing how is it now i am not sure because i haven't tried this so i can't tell you exactly how is the intercom but calling feature is good you can hear easily you can uh, pick up calls also very easily because the buttons are big and there's not much disturbance while riding and talking and the reason why you should buy this intercom is that i have seen many people they use headphones but to listen music while riding and that is not at all safe so instead of the that you can buy this and uh, use it for your daily commute this is much more safer because wires by chance if you have some kind of crash or something the wires might get tangled up so this is much more safer option if you want a lower budget one i am trying out another intercom too now it does not have so many features but uh, if you are really tight on budget stay tuned that video is coming soon but anyways thank you banggood.com for sending me this intercom and should you buy this in 2018 yes at this price range it is really good and uh, you can go for a higher priced intercom that is going to be a little more better but at this price range this is good and it comes with fm radio too so that's like a bonus so yeah i hope uh, you found this video informative and if you did don't forget to hit on that like button share this video with your friends too and let me know your thoughts about this intercom are you using this intercom or are you using any other intercom let me know in the comment section below and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon ting ting this is Rishabh Kladi signing off and I hope to see you soon in my next video bye bye